Hey guys, it's Mr. Tanuki here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Warrior Land, The Straight Dimension. We're going to Airy Tail Castle today, which is the third level of Area 4. And I'm assuming it's got something to do with the sky, because it's Airy Tail. They've obviously made a pun. And there we go, there's clouds. It's really cool though. Those clouds kind of look a bit like... Um, I don't know what they look like. They look a bit like, uh, you know that stuff you put in your attic? What's it called? Fiberglass? I think that's what it's called. Um, okay, so these again. Uh, so what are we meant to do? What are the goals, actually? Finish 4, 250. Beat the clock without taking damage. Uh, collect 550 coins. Don't break any rocket buckets. Rocket buckets? Oh, no. Are they going to be like the rocket barrels? Oh, they probably are. I'm not looking forward to this, then. Um, okay. Right. Uh, let me... Let me slam that down so I can get past. Uh, there was something we needed this for, wasn't there? I'm sure of it. That, apparently. Um, can we actually get that down by... No, we can't. No, we cannot. Um, okay, so I will throw you. Get that down. And then... Oh, nope. Okay, throw you again. Gotta be very careful. And I miss. Lovely. Oh, well, at least I've still got this, which is awesome. Um, okay, so yeah, Airy Tail Castle. It's in the sky, and it actually kind of looks like the Sky World stage from uh, Smash U. You know, you've got the floating um, floating islands and such in the background with the castles and stuff. It's actually really kind of beautiful. I love the small details they put in, like the statues in the background. Is this just going to warp me? That's got to warp me. What the heck has just gone on? I don't know. It, that must have been a warp. I, I don't know. It's very strange. I don't like that. Uh, it's confusing, kind of. Um, okay, so I will throw this down. And then we... Hang on. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, we need to get down, do we? Okie dokie. So what I need to do is be very, very quick. At, and not to um, destroy anyone. Actually, saying that, I didn't really need the enemy, did I? To be completely honest. Um, so I'll just slam that down again. I'll take him with me anyway. I'll take him with me anyway, just because, hang on, why is the, um, why is this going to be awkward? Oh, I probably hit it, didn't I, when I was trying to get down, yeah. Uh, oh my god, is he going to get squashed? Is he going to get squashed? Yeah! Genocide is funny. <laughs> okay, slam that again, get that down. Um, okay, so, oh crap, that's why I needed the enemy. I knew I would have needed him. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. If I take this guy, will he come with me? He probably won't, will he? Um, oh, he gets stuck. Wow. That's cold, man. You can't just get stuck in walls. Oh, dude. That's sad. Okay. What's this? Oh, no. This is the rocket butt. Well, I broke it myself. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um... So, what do we do? Oh, this is strange. I don't like this. How do we get out? Okay, just like that then. Just like that we get out. Um, just by pushing up. I thought it'd be a lot more complicated than that. So, can I just like land this anywhere I want? Because that's obviously the landing pad. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll go up here. Just be careful. Be careful. Slam that. Good. Don't know what that did, but I'm sure it's... um. Made a positive contribution to the game. And there was a thing over here, which is a mega bag, which I'm just going to quickly take. I know that I could have really, really, I know that I could have easily done it without breaking the rocket bucket. But I uh, I didn't know that I was slamming down on it. Now, what did doing that red thing do? That must have like, oh, it unlocked a treasure. That's good. Okay. I wonder if we can like slam into the treasure. See, this is obviously like a Sky World reference because it had Cupid's bow. I don't even know if that's a thing Pit uses. What is Pit's purpose? Question of the day. What is Pit's purpose? You know, the little angel guy from Kid Icarus. I've never actually played a Kid Icarus game, but I really want to because they look so fun. I saw um, Nintendo Capri Sun play the first one, and that looks really cool. And uh, I've seen a couple people play... Um, Uprising, and I have heard from Jordan that Uprising is a really good game, uh, so I might take his recommendation and pick that up at some point. I'm really bad at buying games for my 3DS. I'm really, really bad at it. Just maybe because I just don't like handheld games. That's probably what it is. Uh, just because I don't know. I'm so weird with my 3DS because I also don't like uh, adding people on it because it's like my relaxing. Um, 
my relaxing thing. Like, I'll play it whenever I want to relax. And I feel like I can't do that if I have, like, a friends list and stuff. I, I don't know. Does anyone else feel like that with things? Like, if you have friends on a console, you feel like you can't relax with it. Because I would always feel like people are watching what I'm doing, as crazy as that sounds. And you know what? I'm just going to skip to when we get to the top. Okay, and we made it. And we got a bag. That one actually wasn't my fault. I was actually doing all right, I like to think. See, I hate that. Why did the stupid coins always fall down? They always... And now they've disappeared. Great. Literally, this is actually kind of annoying me. Because it's just so finicky. Ugh. Oh, there's a thing over here as well. This probably leads to a secret, right? Unless maybe the first one led to a secret. Um... This has got to be, like, where we've got to go. Because it just... It got to be. Come on. Oh, that leads to a pipe. Um, I think. Oh, this is probably taking us to the end, isn't it? Yeah, I think this is where we have to go. There's a treasure. We need to be better at getting treasure. Because I can't seem to find any, ever. Which is, um... Actually kind of upsetting. Um... Okay. So, I'll wait for that. And then I shall... Okay, it's not going to come back, is it? Um... Here we go. I shall wait for you, and I shall crawl a lot. Oh, that was really quite irritating. I'm I'm trying to control the rage. Because if I don't, I'm going to get very angry. Very angry indeed. Go away, please. Thank you. And this isn't helping the fact I'm trying to be child friendly now. Because <laughs> I'm very tempted to say bad things. Very tempted indeed. Um, okay, so obviously what I'm going to try doing... Is I'm just going to shake this under here. So that really the coins have no place to go. Um, and wait. What's down here? It's got to lead to a treasure, right? Come on. Oh, God. Um, oh, I wonder actually. Can we like... Yes, there we go. Nice. Did not even know we could do that. And now I'm really, really happy. A flying slipper. This is obviously like a, a Greek mythology kind of thing. Like you can tell... Because it's just got so many, like, Greek references, I guess, if you could if you could say that. Um, jump on you. Jump on your head. Or jump on your head, sir. I'm actually be interested to know, have, have any of you got this game because I started playing it? Because if you did, that'd be really interesting and actually a little bit creepy. Uh, but I would love to play along with you, if that's the fact. Um, now, I did see that there was a treasure up here. Uh, so, I'm going to actually do my best to... Now, how am I... How am I meant to do this? Because um, I know that obviously you have to jump there, but I don't jump that high. Maybe there's a rocket barrel or something. I don't, I don't quite know. Uh, anyway, slam this and um, we'll get over here again because this is where the thing is. This is where we need to be. But the question is, where are we running to? I'll just drop down here, I suppose. That's probably like the best thing to do, right? No, yeah, actually. I probably should have just ground pounded. That would have saved us a lot of time. How much time do we have? 2.50. Um, not much time at all, actually. About 30 seconds. Oh, I'm scared now. Oh, and there's spikes. Great. I guess I just have to, like, jump when I see the coins then. Uh, that's probably a good indication. That was not a good indication. Let's try that again. Okay, so jump there. And I think it's at this bit coming up where we have to do the, uh, do the slides. Yep, that is it. Oh, and I destroyed my face. <laughs> face plant! And I need that to get through. That's just not fun. Oh, there's a thing here. That's good. Okay, uh, so we've got about 10 seconds. I don't have high hopes for being able to get back. But uh, we'll try our best. That's all anyone can ever ask of us. Keep that in mind, guys, when you uh, fail at school and life or whatever. That no one can ever ask you to do anything but your best. That's so stupid, though, when people say that. Because it's so untrue. People always ask you to do anything but your best. You know, you're always expected to do so much more than you're actually capable of. Uh, which is really uh, stupid. Okay, down this way. Uh, yeah, so I don't think we... <laughs> I think it's fair to say we didn't make the time goal. Uh, <laughs> and we didn't complete any of our goals, actually. Which is actually really... Um, Pretty really sad. If I'd known that we had to keep, like, swerving, I think, honestly, I would have been able to do it. In fact, that might be something I want to try later. We've got 22,000 coins, though, which is awesome. Um, and so that's going to really help with everything that we need to do. I think we've only got one level left in this world. I think that was the third level. So once we complete that level, we're just on to the boss. And then pretty much it. The boss is probably going to be really hard, though, because I found the last world one hard. And then we're on to the last, uh, we're on to the last world then. Yay! 
Oh, this looks long. 